Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tidy, and right now you're watching ThatDrop.com. Yo, 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 you tuned in live for ThatDrop.com. I try not to focus as much attention on rankings or charts because I feel like it develops a sense of narcissism in myself that destroys the creative vibe. But the second thing is that to have a record that I've spent so long working on and writing and seeing it up there with names like that is just uh, it's mind blowing. When I first heard the news about it being number one on, on BPM, I, I teared up a little bit. I honestly, like, this, this is just something that breaks my eyes. <laughs> it was incredible. Artist in general, if you focus more attention on your success, and you, you tend to lose track of writing good music. And for me personally, anyway, I, I think the more I focus on, I, put it this way, I'd rather be known as a guy who makes. If, if I was world famous, if I was a, an Avicii or someone like that, right? I would rather be known for being good songwriter and a good producer than just being known as, oh, that guy's really famous, you know? So I think for me to be that, to be a great songwriter, I have to focus more attention on just the, the art and the craft. And I mean, if, if, if rewards and things come from it, fantastic, but that's not my goal anymore, you know? I don't, I don't want to go out and try to get a Grammy or try to get a number one DJ in the world or anything like that. It's, if I aim for those things, I'm going to become more business-minded and less creatively um, inspired. Like the, the, these bands, the reason why like a lot of interviews people say to me, who's your favorite artist, who do you look up to, who are you inspired by, and I always come back with bands like that and, and rather than DJs. And it's because um, if you listen to the lyrics and the songwriting in those songs, they are from the heart. They're so powerful and to me personally, when I put on a song like a Dashboard Professional Record, it reminds me of when I was you know, 16, making out with a girl to, to that song. And I, I want to make songs where people people look back on my music even when they're 40 and they put on a tidy record and they say, they don't just go, oh, remember that time we got, I don't know if I can swear here, but like, <laughs> there's like, you know, I don't want to make records where people look back in 10 years and go, yeah, remember that time we got really f***ed up at that rave to that to that track? If, if that's what my music turns into, like, then I'm, I don't want to do it. I, I want music where people look back in 10 years and they go, that guy made a song that, like, that was our song we played before our wedding, or that, I mean, that, that was a song that I fell in love with a girl at this, whatever, you know, like, I want, I want music that takes people to another place, music that has, that's infused with, with beauty, um, and some of the most gratifying things that I've seen from fans already is, is our comments like those. I've had comments where people have said I was on the edge of depression, um, I was, I, I don't even want to say it in interviews, but I get comments from fans saying, your music has saved me, um, some of the songs you've written are so appropriate to my situation in life, um, some of the songs I've made, like I'm Not That Beautiful on my album, is a, it's a ballad that I did, and it's um, really quite dark, but I've had fans say that that song has literally changed their life, and I mean, you never know to what extent it did, but just to hear those kind of things and read those kind of comments is what fuels me to write songs that that have that, that beauty to it, you know, that are more than just a beat, more than just more than just a banger, you know. And I like bangers and I, I, I like I like that kind of stuff, but for me personally, I wanna make music that really takes you to another place. Massive inspiration has been working with bands. So lately I've been writing a lot with um, Jordan from a band called The Ready Set. I did that track with Dashboard Confessional. Um, there's uh, a band called Handsome Ghost that I'm listening to a lot right now. And um, I could list you a million bands, but the, the reason why I like this approach, well, the reason why um, I like this writing process is because if you think about a DJ, Generally, DJs are a producer, right, an electronic beat, and then they send it out to somebody and they say, give me a vocal, and they send it back. It's very detached. Um, whereas a band gets down in a room and, and someone will play a guitar riff and the vocalist will start singing, and someone will say, like, what's this about? Like, you know, what, what's the concept going to be? And with some of my records, people have said, um, we've been in the room and someone said, what do you want to write about? And I've literally said, okay, well, I there's this girl and I spent three weeks with her and I kind of 
fell for it or whatever and, and it didn't work out and they're like, well, why didn't it work out? And I'd say the reason and we start writing and, and we, it may not rhyme, it's just we just write the stories and eventually we pull lines out of those stories that become lyrics and we drag them across and I might say a certain line and someone will go, that's a really cool lyric, like, you know, like I'll fold for you like, and you can use that as a double meaning, like, you know, a deck of cards or, or a girl. And that writing process is so different to um, how I used to write in the DJ world. And that's how I'm, that's why my album is called Redefined as well, because the whole album is written like that. If you have a job doing what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And that is kind of what it is like for me. I don't need time for myself because my job is doing exactly what I love. And that's not said because this is an interview with Sirius and I want to look cool or whatever, you know. I, I literally am in love with what I do. I, I love writing music, I love playing music. Uh, from from as old as I can remember, music was my addiction. And to this day, it's, I've only gotten more addicted to it, so it's, that's what fuels me. Um, what gets me going? <laughs> Red Bull. <laughs> no, um, just the, just having people think about what I do for a job. I, I, I travel the world, I play 150 shows a year in different countries to people who are absolutely just in awe of the music and knowing that I'm getting paid to do something that I would pay money to do is insane. Like, that's it. If I had a if I had a day job like a, a nine to five, and I would still I would still DJ, I would still write, I would still produce as a passion. Doing that full time as a job, there is just nothing more inspirational than that. You know, than than knowing that hey, I can wake up today and see a, see some fans who are just that adoring of the music and yeah, it's it's it's, not, it's something else. Hey, I, I wish I could explain it any other way, but my my energy and my drive towards music is totally fueled by the, what I get back from my fans. The most exciting thing right now is the track being number one on, on BPM. That's, that's insanity. Like, uh, it's, blown, it's blown my mind because you know I, I, I never really thought that the kind of music I write would cross to, to commercial radio, and, and not not just BPM, but just making it to, to top 40 radio now, and um, to, to have that kind of like. Um, just knowing my song is, my, is, is becoming known around America is out of control, but what really is um, is exciting me about the future is making songs better than that. So I've got this record and now I'm trying to make songs that are even more exciting, even more beautiful and even more um, just captivating. So I'm fueled by trying to improve, I'm always trying to improve. Awesome. Yo, 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 you tuned in live for that job.com.